place. I think you are taking us somewhere warm, I trust. When the brass tower was a time. Your training proceeds well, Dragonborn. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? The Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you. But heed my warning. The Blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. No, I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It is called... Dragon rent, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragon rent holds no place within the way of the voice. But not Dragon rent. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. Perhaps only its creators ever knew it, but I am not the one to speak of it to you was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons, and they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely, and 
never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Follow me. I will show you how to open the path to Parthenax. Sky, guard you. Well, let's get going. If anyone sneaks up on us, I'll smell them coming. Or I might not. We will see. The path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. you my understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit.
Greetings, Wundernik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strumach, my mountain? I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovahkiin. Tell me, why do you come here for long? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Drem, patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thumb. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovaki. Rotmulag waits. as a weapon against the Dove, the Dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this doom? with Firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? Cruza, as good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa? Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? Paz. A fair answer. Rofus. Maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. 
Ulsetid los Tramodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? Mm, true, but few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Vaucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. Mm, yes and no. Viknuznikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough, Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Hmm. How to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwatlan, they are mm, fragments of creation. The Kelly, Elder Scrolls as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. Zofa Suyek. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. May I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Croesus, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Trust your instincts, Dovakin. Your blood will show you the way. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, 
mortal. Even for one of Dova's source, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Dremyolok, greetings. Soon.